by multiple of numbers 5 and 6 we mean a number which is divisible by both 5 and 6. 30 is such number which is divisible by 5 as well as 6. So let's write down 30. But every multiple of 30 like 60, 90, 120, 150 all these numbers definitely are multiples of both 5 as well as 6. But which one is the least? Which one is the smallest? 30 is the smallest or the least common multiple of 5 and 6. That's why we say LCM for 5 and 6 is equal to 30. We have learned different methods to find LCM for numbers. But let's take a look on the few of the methods which we can use to find LCM for polynomials. So in this example here, we are going to find, find LCM for 15x squared, 45xy and 30 x, y, z. Just like HCF, first we are going to use first two polynomials and we will find their LCM. And for this purpose, the polynomial 1, which is 15x square, we are going to make its linear factors. Like if we have 15, we can do its linear factorization 3 5 times and 5 times 1. So this would be 3 time 5 time x square mean x time x. And the second polynomial is 45 x y. And if we make its linear factors, 45 by small deviants can be 15, 3 time 5, 5 time 1. So the linear factors would be 3 time 3 time 5 and time x time y. So from the first two polynomials, let's take a look what are the common factors. So common factors between them common factors are you take a look on this factor 3 is common 5 is common as well for both and x is also common for both so the common factors are 3 5 and x. Let's take the product of common factors. So the product of common factors would be 3 times 5 times x which is equal to 15x. And now let's take product of uncommon factors. Product of uncommon factors so factors which are not common here is 3 here is x and here is y these are the factors which are not part of the any pair so that would be 3 time x time y 3 time x time y and now we have product of common factors as well as product of uncommon factors the Product of common factors is in fact HCF for both of these polynomials. But here we want to find out LCM. LCM for the first two polynomials which are what 15x square and 15x square and 45xy 
is equal to product of common factors which is 15 x time product of uncommon factors that is 3 x y and if we take a product that will become 45 x square y or if you want to leave it like 45 x time x time y that's fine too so this is lcm for the first two polynomials now let's take this lcm as replacement of the first and second polynomial as we did in hcf so this would be 45 x square y and now we will calculate polynomial uh, lcm for this lcm as well as for the third polynomial which is 30 x y z 30 x y z and we are going to repeat the same process again 45 x square y is in fact factored form and 30 x y z in factored form this is 3 time 3 time 5 time x time x time y these are all linear factors and for 30 these are the linear factor 2 time 3 time 5 time x time y time z we can always make linear factors or find linear factors by doing the small division 45 and then write prime numbers here 2 3 5 7 and start because 45 is not even so we we'll can only start with 3 15 times and 15 is divisible by 3 5 times 5 1 and that's how we get the linear factors now make the pairs again here is this pair here is pair for 5 these are common this is common and y is common as well so nothing else is common therefore product of common factors is equal to 3 time 5 time x time y 3 time 5 time x time y and product of uncommon factors uncommon factors is equal to 2 time 3 2 time 3 time x time z so this will be so the LCM now will be LCM is equal to product of common factors product of common factors and product of uncommon factors factors so this would be equal to 15 x y product of common factors time 6 x z so this is equal to 90 x square y z this is how we calculate LCM for monomials and now let's do another question for find LCM find LCM for x square minus 4 and x square minus 5x plus 6 here the first polynomial is x square minus 4 which is a difference of perfect squares so x square minus 2 square and we have learned in the methods for factorization this would be x minus 2 time x plus 2 so this is these are factors for the first one and the other one is x square 
minus 5x plus 6. We will use AC method. 1 times 6 is plus 6. So we are going to find out two such factors of 6 whose sum is equal to 5, which is 2 and 3. So x squared minus 2 plus 3, x plus 6, this is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 3x plus 6. And we have here x common, x minus 2, minus 3 into x minus 2, take x minus 2 common, that will give us x minus 3 inside and x minus 2 as common. And these are factors for x square minus 5x plus 6. Therefore, from 1 and 2, you can see that the common factor is x minus 2. So the common factor, product of common factors, product of common factors, there is only one x minus 2 is common, so that's what we are going to write. And product of uncommon factors would be product of uncommon factors would be here is x minus 3 and here is x plus 2. So we are going to take product of both of them x plus 2 time x minus 3 and as we know that LCM is equal to LCM is equal to product of common as well as uncommon factors. Therefore, it would be x minus 2 time x plus 2 time x minus 3. And from the formula, if you want to further simplify it, you know that x minus 2 time x plus 2 is a plus b time a minus b formula. This would be again x square minus 2 square, which is 4, time x minus 3. And now if we want to take a product, this entire factor will multiply one time with x square and one time with 4. Therefore, we can multiply it with this way, x square time x minus 3. And then this minus 4 here, minus 4 times x minus 3 and we got x cube minus 3 x square minus 4 x plus 12 and that is the LCM of the two given polynomials. If we want to take an LCM for so one last question which we will do is this and find LCM LCM for a square plus 4ab plus 4b square and a square plus 3ab plus 2b square and a square plus 2ab plus b square. So now the task is basically factorization of each of the polynomial and we will first calculate LCM for polynomial 1 and polynomial 2 and then we'll take LCM of that LCM and the third polynomial. So here is a factorization of the first polynomial a square plus 4ab plus that is 4b squared in fact plus 4b squared so if that is 4b squared then we can see that this is a whole square plus 2b whole square 
plus 2 time first term which is A time second term which is 2B and this can be written as perfect square of A plus 2B whole square. So this is factorized form of A square plus plus 4A B plus 4B square. Let's call this as 1 and the factorized form for the second a square plus 3a b plus 2b square is in fact this is ac method we can use a square plus 3 can be written as 2 plus 1 ab plus 2b square and this is a square plus 2a b plus a b plus 2 b square here we can take common as a and inside will be a plus 2 b and then we take common b and this will leave a plus 2 b again you can see that a plus 2 b is common therefore inside is a plus b time a plus 2 b so if we take a look on both of these a square plus 3 AB plus 2B square we can see that A plus 2B is common here it's two time here it's one time so product of common factors will be product of common factors is equal to a plus 2b and the uncommon a plus b here and one time a plus 2b over there so product of uncommon factors common factors would be a plus b right here and because here in one it was a plus 2b square one time it was common but one time that was left uncommon that would be a plus 2b again so now this is lcm would be lcm would be equal to product of common of common and product and product of uncommon factors which is a plus 2b which is common and a plus 2b time a plus b which is so now this is again a plus 2b whole square time a plus b and this is now the replacement for the first and second polynomial so once we have LCM of first and second now we want to find out LCM for LCM for A plus 2B whole square time A plus B and the third polynomial what was the third polynomial the third polynomial is A plus 2AB plus b square so a plus 2 a b plus b square as it is clear that is a plus b whole square formula so we can in fact write both of these as a plus 2 b whole square a plus b and this can be written as a plus b whole square or a plus 2 b time a plus 2b because of square we are going to write it as linear factors and a plus b whole square can be written as a plus b time a plus b and you can see that there is only one common factor so 
common factor CF would be A plus B and uncommon factors UF would be A plus 2B square 2 times and 1 time A plus B over there. That would be A plus B and there all of the product that would be LCM. So the required LCM would be A plus B time A plus B time A plus 2B whole square.